Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we are going to discuss about another topic which is related to journaling. So we will discuss about the DSP GRN command which is very useful command for a journaling process because this command provide all provide us all the information regarding the entries uh, that is captured during the journaling process okay so to explain this thing what i can do i i will show you firstly the command and then we will discuss about the command and then uh, at some extent i will show you like what all informations are captured during the dsp uh, during the journaling when we are checking the entries with the help of dsp grn command okay so let me show you the command first so dsp grn where dsp is representing display and grn is representing the journal now if i take f4 here you will see it is uh, showing me the screen where we are supposed to provide some information okay but before we discuss about those information let me show you the complete description let's say if you are using this command for the very first time so in that case you can simply place your cursor here on white text press f1 it will open this screen where you will find all the information related to display journal so here it is mentioned the display journal dsp grn command allows you to convert journal entries contained in one or more receiver we know that we are at, we have attached the receiver with journal so what it do it uh, convert the journal entries into a form suitable for external representation okay so it is presenting the ex uh, converting it into the uh, suitable form that is good for the external representation okay the later it is saying output of the command can be displayed or printed with the jobs spool printer output or directed to a database file this is very important step why because let's say if you would like to capture these information in, or you if, if you would like to print this information as a spool file then you can do this also you can direct the information into one output file as well database output file okay then it is saying if the database output file exists already records may either be replaced or be added to the current data in the indicated file member okay so if it is already there it might replace the data or or be added to the current data indicated in file member okay then it is saying the system creates the specified database file and member if they do not exist if there is no existing system or database file it creates that database files created by the system have standard format a warning message is sent and the records are truncated if any of the entries are longer than the specified maximum record length of the output file okay so likewise you will find all the theoretical related stuff here in this command like restrictions commands and parameter detail all the information which is uh, related to this dsp grn command so it is up to you how you would refer this document and in this session we will discuss about the practical things more instead of the theoretical portion because this thing if required you can refer directly you can take f1 on this white text and it will show you these information and you can read it okay but for time being we will just focus on the command parameters and also for this session we are not going to use all these parameters we will just use the basic one and later as per the requirement we will proceed for the advanced parameters as well okay so let me show you the first parameter that we are supposed to pass here which is JRN journal so here we are supposed to pass the journal name which we have already created so if you are following the previous sessions then we have already created this test JRN which is a library Sharmit one now we are supposed to pass the file name for which we want to check the journal entries so I want to check the journal entries for students file so I just mention it here students which is in library Sharmit one other options it it is up to you let's say if you are uh, checking it for the any specific member then you can pass it here otherwise you can simply move forward uh, with the default values and for additional parameter you can press F10 and it will show you other extra information okay so but for now we will just go with this basic details and later as per requirement we will touch up the required parameters so now I'm hitting enter here 
and you can see it is showing me some of the entries display journal entries it is showing me the journal name which is test grn library shermit one large largest sequence number of the, on this screen is this okay and it is also providing me the entries now what are the meaning of these columns so first is for opt which you know that here we can pass the option then we have sequence Sequ sequence is uh, denoting the order in which the entries are occurred like 16 17 18 19 20 21 so likewise the entries have been uh, performed in this file okay now we have code what is the meaning of d f so if you would like to check all possible codes that we can get here then you can simply press f1 on this white text it will show you this information so right now if we are getting the d that means database file operation if you are getting f it means database file member operation if you are working with journal then you can see journal or journal receiver operation so this is how we can find out the list of code that comes on this screen and this is very important step because right now we know that what all operations we are performing but in project it might not be possible that we know everything that is performed on the file so in that case you can press f1 here on this field and it will show you the list of all code then we have type in type we are also getting some types like jf jm op cl op cl so to check about these meaning you can simply press F1 on type text and it will show you all the information here okay so you can scroll it down just read uh, what all information you you are looking for and just get the meaning let's say if you are getting DK then it means it is internal entry if you are getting IE then it is directory recovery okay so these are the all in uh, types that might come here uh, after performing some operations on your file then it is indicating object likewise you can check for all the columns by just simply pressing f4 it sorry f1 it will provide you the object detail like students libraries share with one job by which job these entries are performed time time is very important thing right because through time itself uh, you can identify many things uh, while doing the analysis for your project task okay so yeah these are the things and now we have only one option available here which is display entire entry so let's say if I would like to check for this entry what I can do I can simply or let's start with the first one I can simply take option 5 here hitting enter so it is showing me that type JF journaling for the file D means database file operation so instead of checking your type code or type or code here by taking F1 you can simply press F1 so it will it itself provide you the information regarding the type and code so the moment when we started the journaling at the same time it performed one entry for the journaling that and it is showing that start journaling of file because I told you that it captures everything every information okay and then it is showing the code as database file operation hitting enter similarly if you check for the next thing by taking five it is showing it is a start journaling for member database file member operation and if you check for the op it is showing it is a member opened open operation and it comes when we read the file just for the simple read it shows this option then we have database file member operation okay and it is also showing enter specific data many other options are also there f3 for exit uh, display only entry specific data display only entry details cancel more keys more keys means 24 you can press 24 it will show display hexadecimal format display previous entry position 2 okay and 24 again for exit uh, more keys right so these options you can explore maybe as per the need we will also discuss on these options but for timing we are just discussing on how we can check the entire entry by taking option 5 and what is the meaning of get uh, those things let's say if I am taking a option 5 here so it is showing me that code is database file member operation type is member closed okay so yeah this is the way through which we can easily identify and now just focus on this time which is 432 now what we will do we will run one str SQL command run one query select star from shermit1 slash students so you can see it just read the file 
now if you check the same deta uh, detail again by dspgrn same command i'm hitting you can see one more entry has been added two more entries has been added which is for open and close because we opened the file and we closed the file maybe in next session i will also tell you because these are repetitive information you know like um, these are not required so in some cases it might be required but most of the time we don't need uh, to capture these open and close operations so i will tell you one quick way through which you can close these things okay and you might be aware of that thing because uh, in introduction session i told you how to use that parameter but no problem if you are not aware i will tell you again okay so for now we just discuss how to check and during read operation it is capturing the information we will also see what will happen if we are performing insert operation update operation or delete operation okay so yeah that's all for today's session i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech channel as usual i will ask you another question for uh, practice purpose so let me open that question okay something is wrong with this uh, server yeah it is up so here i have mentioned one question what all ways are there to check whether your file is journaled or not so i recommend you to put the answer of this question because that will also help the other viewers to refer the answer in the comment section and it will also prepare you for the interview round so just make a habit to put the answer after watching the session uh, the correct answer will be pinned uh, in the comment section so that everyone can can take the reference from it okay so yeah that's all for today i hope it is everything everything is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sherman